Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. Just recently, I did a video on this open hands where I showed you how you can install it locally and I also described its architecture. We went into how to run it with the help of hosted API with OpenAI and I also described why it was not really a good idea to use it with local models because still those models are not up to the mark but still I got a lot of comments where people were asking about how to get it installed and integrated with Olama based model. So that is what I'm going to show you in this video. We are going to install it and then we will integrate it with Olama. Now these commands are not exactly present in their uh, documentation which needs massive improvement in my humble opinion but still uh, I will so please follow this carefully the only prerequisite which you need is a docker and I will also show you my version just make sure that you have a latest version of docker installed now before I move forward let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agentql agentql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source it is resilient it is quite reusable and it is powered by ai and i will drop the link to their website in video's description coming back to this open hands so what is open hands for those who don't know open hands is simply an ai powered software engineer last year we heard about another ai powered software engineer which was devin and there was a lot of euphoria around it and we saw a lot of tools popping up and open devin was one open source tool which appeared and we covered it last year this is a rebranding of open devin now they are calling it open hands same tool just the name has changed and they have improved it a bit now I would really tell you that if you are looking to use it in production environment, I would suggest you use it with with API based models, especially with Anthropic Cloud uh, or Anthropic Sonnet because they are the uh, ones which have performed quite well. Still, it is not a replacement of human software engineer in a complex environment. So that said, let's try to get it installed with Olama. Olama, if you don't know, Olama is one of the easiest and I would say fastest tool to run large language models locally. I have covered it in the last one year or so in like seven to 800 videos. So if you don't know how to use it, how to install it, please check out my channel. Installation is very simple. Just click on download from Olama's website. For Linux, just run this command. For Windows and Mac, just download and next, next. I already have it installed. So let me take you to my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM and VRAM consumption will depend upon the model you are going to run. As I mentioned earlier, I already have Olama installed. So I am, I will be going with this Llama 3.2 model, which is just two gig. So I think this should run even on four to eight GPU of VRAM if you have it. So, uh, you can you already saw that i have this running now one of the prerequisites which you cannot do about um is, which you cannot do without so is docker so make sure that you have a recent version of docker installed i have this recent version of docker which is 27.3.1 so make sure that you have at least docker version above 26.00 that is what is required now that out of the way, first up, let's pull the Docker images. So I'm just using this command, which is going to pull the latest images of Docker. So let's wait for it. This takes a bit of a time. Okay, so that is downloaded. Next up, we need to run these Docker containers, something like this. And this is important. So you see for LLM API key, I'm just saying Olama. This is my LLM base URL. So this is where my Olama is running on my local host at this default port 11434. If you have a different port, you can select anything else. Make sure to give LLM Olama base URL like this. And then the rest of it is, uh, you know, just we are, we are specifying the Docker image. We are mapping the container port with the local port. This is the socket file. And then we are adding the host like this. And then we can run it with this Docker command. So let me run it. 
and it is pulling all the docker stuff from here so let's wait for it to get finished and while that happens let me also give a huge shout out to mast compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpu so please do check them out okay let's go back to terminal and there you go so our open hands is installed let's open it in this local host at port 3000 and we have now this running on our local host at port 3000 on the left hand side if you click on settings olama should already be there there you go so we have olama and llama 3.2 model which i already showed you running locally on this local host at this port and all this stuff and this api keys to, we don't have to really worry about this so i'm just going to close it and now let me ask it to maybe just write a simple script here so I'm just asking it to write me a Python script to add two numbers. Let me press enter here and now let's wait for it to come back. And there you go. You see that it has said that it has created the Python script with this add two numbers. The script defines the function to add two numbers and includes a simple user interface to input the number. And on the right hand side in the workspace, you see that we have this add two numbers dot py file. And once you click on that file, this is our function where it has very nicely defined a function. And then there is also a main function and there is a call to that function. So very, very nicely written. Now, if you want to, you know, reiterate on this project, you can simply keep talking with it and it is going to produce. And one thing you would notice that it takes a lot of time even to service um, very, very simple request, even if it is running locally and that is the thing which i which i was referring to earlier that this project open hands and various other similar projects which i have uh, tested it out on the channel in the last one year or so all ai powered software engineers they only work well with hosted models whether it is open sourced or closed source for example with llama 3 405 billion model they work really well but only if it is hosted one but the best one comes from Anthropics models or OpenAI's models. So that is still the case, which incurs a lot of API call costs. So be aware of that. Plus there is a lot of API throttling. So still, I believe long way to go for these sort of AI powered software engineers, despite of the claims and facts, I think uh, it's a very, very early stage for these. So that's it. But, um, now at least you know that how you can run it with olama based models but this is not for the production environment that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching